from the Gebobo Seppens around Namibia, a skeleton Brandberg quartz. Um, reason for my selection here is especially this, this particular section here with the white interlacing with the smoky. You cross into a face there. When you look inside, there's a whole multitude of little cavities and pockets, and often in these we find gas cum water bubbles trapped. This one has got contact on this edge, running across here, running up to here. So this would be a contacted section, but when you hold the specimen in hand, hardly noticeable. There we have the other edge. I just found the patterning quite intense, and the whiteness associated with the black quite appealing. Hellishly difficult to photograph these guys. I think the camera also struggles to get all the angles in place. Let's look at it from this angle. So this is where my finger is moving. That would be the point of contact. Across like this. We've got a pretty nice all-round display. It's light flat like that. No crystallization taking place here. There is actually some crystallization on this crystal. Let's have a look inside there. And of course, as we go into these crystals, there's a multitude of little caverns and cavities, and often they have uh, gas cum water bubbles trapped inside them, which I would call, uh, uh, classify as in hydros, uh, which would be moving gas cum water bubbles, so not reflections. So if the guys move, then I classify them as in hydros. If they don't, then they would just be uh, uh, reflections. All the way from the Gebrobe Sepp and Serans, uh, in Namibia. Uh, Brandberg skeleton quartz, lovely dark smoky, um, maybe shades of amethyst, but predominantly smoky. Uh, maybe touches of, of purple. I, I'm a little bit color challenged, but there seems to be a different color here too. Maybe a little bit of amethyst included.